Hello and welcome to Tromsø in northern Norway. Uh, today I'm gonna take you on a little walk through the central parts of the city. And I'm starting here down by the harbor next to where Hurtigruten, the famous Norwegian cruise ships, um, yeah, where they park. There was one just arriving five minutes ago or something. So yeah, I will take you on a little walk through the city and uh, we'll see what we find. I've only been here once before and that was like six years ago. It's a pretty cool hotel. Hotel The Edge. Uh, I've only been here once before and yeah, six, six years ago. So I don't really know this place very well, but we are in the central part of the city and I'm gonna walk on the some of the main streets here and a little bit first now we will explore this waterfront area together it's a bit of a gray day it's not too cold it's um, let's see 13 degrees right now it's uh, September 16th iOS 18 will be released later this day and um, yeah it's uh, it's uh, apparently or pe people have told me that it's the hottest September ever here in Tromsø. We're of course north of the Polar Circle, so it's a place with a pretty harsh winter climate. But uh, this year it's surprisingly mild and it's also very pleasant today because there isn't much wind. Uh, which is not something you can take for granted. It often blows a lot here. And this city is a very popular tourist destination so here's one of the many tourism offices i guess you see some of the activities you can do here dog sledding boat tours whale watching reindeer visits and of course northern lights tours which is like the big big draw and probably the most popular activity here let's go down here and see not sure if we have some nice views over here but maybe and in my, my opinion, this, the landscapes around here are truly spectacular. And I've never seen anything like this. You know, it's, it's, the city is on an island between, yeah, it, just surrounded by these huge, huge mountains. Up there is actually a lookout point and a little restaurant or cafe with a cable car that takes you up. I haven't been up there myself, but my wife says it's it's uh, pretty great. But it's uh, unfortunately very expensive to go up there. Like a round trip ticket is 400 something crowns, which is for me still stuck in my Japanese pricing mindset. That's, that's very expensive. It's like, uh, what, yeah, 40, 40 US dollars. Uh, Six, seven thousand yen. And over there also you see another famous site. That's the Arctic Cathedral, I believe it's called. It's a very, it's a church with a very interesting architecture. But yeah, we are heading this way, down to the city center. Actually, my wife told me that this waterfront area here has been, big parts of it has been uh, redeveloped. There's some parts that has like lots of high-rise buildings, which did not exist here uh, last time she came here. So it's changing a lot. It's a popular, both a popular tourist destination, but also a popular place to visit and a popular place to move to. A lot of Norwegians are actually moving here. So from what I understand, the city is growing and the real estate prices are kind of crazy. It's like way more expensive here than even in Tokyo, actually, which is nuts. far more expensive than Stockholm. I 
But yeah, this part where we will be walking today is more like that's the old city center, which I don't think has changed that much. This Troms uh, Brook book and ah used uh, uh, used books looks closed, but kind of funny to see Toad and a Pokemon sign <laughs> in a place like this. Japanese pop culture is everywhere. <laughs> What's going on about this? Even north of the polar circle. Here you can see how remote we are. Every, everything is pretty far. I think this should be... Yeah, I think this is the nice main street with it, which is mostly pedestrian only. So let's walk up here and then maybe turn around. And walk down a few blocks as well. Unfortunately, it looks like there's a lot of construction work going on down here. That's a, not so nice. There's an old bank. I wonder if it's still a bank or if it's something else. But 1836, like almost 200 years ago. Not sure if it's the same building though, but maybe, could be. Here's a little wine bar. Mm. Too bad that all this construction is going on. Usually, last time I came here it looked so much nicer. Mm. 
Northern Lights. Gift shop and cinema. Another wine bar and microbrewery, as well as a reflection reveal and uh, some hearing loss from the nearby <laughs> construction view construction worker. Here's the library, which is supposed to be very nice. Pretty cool building. Might check that out later, actually. Here's a little map of Northern Norway. We are here, Tromsø. Sweden ends here, so yeah, we're even further north than the northernmost point of Sweden. Pretty cool. Norwegian Bookstore of the Year, oh really? There you can see the one of the bridges that connects the island where the city center is located with the rest of the town which extends on the mainland on the opposite side. Oh and here you can have a reindeer hot dog. Hmm. I'm almost a bit tempted. Go down here and check out the view. I think this is actually, yeah, we're heading now towards one of those like redeveloped areas. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, and here's Cafe Bunna, which is like the equivalent to Starbucks in this area. There are several, they have several shops around the town. In Sweden it's usually espresso house. Uh, here it's Cafe Bönna.
Uh, yeah, here you can see these are all newly built apartments. a little bit further down this way before we turn around and head back Hey, it looks like it's a dead end here. I guess that's a sign that I should turn around and head back a little bit. This park looks very nice. Let's see, let's walk down a little bit further this way.
this street doesn't look terribly exciting. So let's head back up to the main street and then maybe one block, one block further up when we get a chance. Wow, looks like Microsoft has an office up here. That's funny. A bit unexpected in such a remote town. Yeah, even the even the Arctics needs to deal with spreadsheets and PowerPoints from time to time, so I guess it makes sense. I wonder if I'm able to pass here. Maybe not. But hopefully, I can just walk around here. Yeah, we are almost back where we started and I think I will wrap things up um, 
it's a little bit of a shame that the weather isn't better. Everything looks kind of gray and ugly in this light. It's actually very beautiful when you get a little bit of sun hitting the streets here. But yeah, today is not one of those days. Not much I can do about that. But at least I hope you got a little bit of a sense of this city, which is, like I think I mentioned earlier, it's the biggest city north of the Arctic Circle uh, outside of Russia. There are a few cities in Russia that are bigger in, than Tromsø. Uh, but, but uh, yeah, in the rest of the world there's no other city with a population this high. It's like 70,000 people living in Tromsø. And that's the biggest city north of the polar circle in the democratic world. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this little tour and uh, it's gonna be interesting to see where my next walk will be. <laughs> if I will make another one here in Norway, but we're actually going home tomorrow, so probably not. Um, so yeah. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'll see you all soon again. Soon. Let me just find a place to wave goodbye to you. Guess I'll just head back down to where I started. Here's another Café Bana, the North Norwegian Starbucks. <laughs> I should go check them out. I haven't been this time. I went once six years ago, last time I came here, but yeah, maybe I should treat myself and my wife to a good cappuccino before we leave the Arctic. local bunch of drunk people even Norway has, has those so I'll wave goodbye to you here thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you all next time bye bye hey do off we see not matane cheese